Hi guys, welcome to Kalatistry. So today I thought of doing a small video about the microphone that I use for my YouTube videos. It's a, the same microphone that I'm wearing right now and the name of the microphone is Boya M1. So this is a wired mic and it has 3.5 mm jack and uh, we can use it with any type of smartphones or DSLR cameras or any type of cameras and on PCs. From this switch, you can switch between cameras um, uh, and smartphones and also on PCs. So this is a condenser type microphone which is good to record voice and uh, also it comes with a cover, a mic cover like this uh, which comes in handy to reduce the background noise like wind and air and other background noises and also there is a very long cable which comes in handy uh, in many ways for me when i do the recordings so talking about the price the mic is super cheap so it's about 35 singapore dollars uh, that means about 25 um, us dollars so i bought this from amazon but you still can find it in many e-commerce platforms so for that money, I got this mic with this handy carry pouch. So the mic came, came with a box, but I have already lost it, so I can't show it today. So there are two ways of using the microphone. Oh, one is with the phone and the other one is with the computer. When I use it with the phone, I directly connect the microphone to the phone and I record the audio and video simultaneously. So this makes my life so much easier when I do the cross-processing because I don't have to sync the video and audio separately. Uh, so if I'm using with the computer and also if I'm using the DSLR camera, I'm recording the audio uh, separately using a lining jack of the computer. So for this, I'm using Audacity, which is a free software and it's easy to install and also to use. Remember, for this option, you have to be switched to the PC and also the battery should be powered here. So speaking about the post-processing audio, I do very minimum post-processing for audio. So if there is any background noises, I use background voice removal from uh, Adobe Premium Pro uh, filters. And other than that, I use the audio as it is. So, the audio that you're hearing from this video is directly recorded from Boya and used without any post-processing audio. So if you guys ask me if I recommend this to somebody, I would definitely say yes. Because if you are a small YouTuber like me and uh, you don't want to spend uh, so much for a fancy mic, this is the most economical and most cheapest option you can have. Uh, this way you have a very long cable and also the setup is super easy and also the procedure is so easy. So you will not regret in buying this. I might upgrade to a wireless mic in the future. Uh, so if you know any good mics that you can recommend, please comment them in the comment box below. So if you have any questions regarding the Boya M1 mic, do also comment in the comment box below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you with another video.